Welcome to Sterling High School. Today is Friday and we are into October. I'm Jared Claiborne. I'm joined by Mrs. Tara Eberly. Thank you for joining us, representing our guidance department. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm smiling. Can you tell? We can see it right underneath <laughs> there. Um, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. So we have a couple of announcements for this week. Um, first, I want to start off with recognizing some athletics. So athletic events have been underway. Uh, tennis jumps out and defeats West Deptford in their second match versus them, beats them on their senior night. Congratulations to tennis. Girls soccer has a huge overtime win over Audubon, a team we have not beaten some time. A two overtime win, uh, game winner by Faith Dixon. Shout out to her and the girls soccer team. Football this week is going to be at Haddon Heights, 11 o'clock on Saturday. That's at Haddon Heights. And, of course, you have to have your special ticket to attend that. And I also want to note that the NJSIAA has made their Season 2 announcement for winter sports. So we are looking forward to that plan coming together regarding sen the seniors, the, the school, everybody participating in winter sports. So with that, um, today is Friday, and it is October 16th, and that is going to be our progress reporting term. So what does that mean for our students Ms. Eberly. It means that the quarter one is over today and the grades are posted. You can find your progress reports on our website, I'm um, sorry, through OnCourse. Um, they will be posted tonight. Good, and, and by over, we just mean the progress reporting term is over. Quarter right. one is not quite over. We have about three oh, weeks. Yes. Two quarter, <laughs> we have about three weeks left, but this is a great idea to uh, determine where you're at. Um, Absolutely, in, we're in halfway through, I'm sorry. Nope, um, we're halfway through, so yes, you shall, uh, be hearing from your guidance counselor regarding your grades, whether you're doing great or you're, you're struggling, and we're there to you know, kind of help you find your way. And that's kind of why I wanted you to help join me today and represent the guidance department. Um, the guidance counselors are meeting the needs of students in this remote world in multiple yeah. different ways. You're reaching out. You're also chatting with them. Mm -hmm. Yep. We have been using Teams. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not sure where I'm looking. That's okay. We've been using Teams um, every day, all day. Uh, okay. We schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings um, with the students. And that's all safe? We got the dividers? You can do that well, in person, uh, yes. but also through Teams? Yes, actually, I was talking directly like through Teams. We are meeting with our students one-on-one -on -one, um, from their home when they're remote. Um, talking about college planning, talking about their grades, giving them extra support if they're feeling down and out. Um, we also have been using the chat feature, like you said, which I personally love. The kids really respond to that. We're, you know, we're in the technology age where students just want to text. Yep. And, and that seems to be working, at least for me, um, Great. greatly. And we also have been doing office meetings for the hybrid students that are in school. We do have our barrier up, masks, um, hand sanitizer, so it's, it's in a safe environment. All right, very good. You also wanted me to uh, pull up the website and point people to the guidance tab. We have an excellent yeah. guidance tab, right? Yeah, ac actually this is the best it's ever looked. We have tons of information that um, Mr. McCullough puts up almost daily. Um, some of the more important links for this time of the year is um, for the seniors. The and college planning tab, Yeah, right? that's a great tab, the college planning tab. We just had a really awesome financial aid night, if you want to scroll all the way up. We okay. actually put the information right up there if you weren't able to join the Zoom meeting with uh, Mike Chando. Um, that is a wealth of knowledge of financial aid and how parents can apply for that. Um, also under the college planning tool is a link to Naviance. Naviance is the connection or the hub for colleges and the guidance um, department. So everything that we send to colleges, we send through Naviance and that's how they download it. So as parents, I would become familiar with that. Um, and then there's just some other links there for college information. Um, again, financial planning and the actual FAFSA website is on there as well. If you then go to career career resources, resources um, you know, this is college isn't for everyone, right? Okay. Yeah. And um, back in the day, getting into this field, it was college, 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 college. But in this day and age, um, 
a lot of students tend to go into the trades or the unions or in, to get apprenticeships and whatnot. So we have some really awesome links um, with connections of people that have come into the guidance office uh, for various unions and whatnot on here, um, as well as other career resources and training for different things. Excellent. So thank you to Mr. McCullough and the guidance mm -hmm. staff for preparing all of that information and having it ready, um, readily available from our website. Right, and, and actually um, on October 30th, this is a little plug for parents, we are having our third, I believe, Coffee with Counselors. Um, last year we piloted a program where we invited uh, parents in to have coffee and donuts and bagels with the guidance staff and talk about um, current topics that were going on in the, in the guidance office. We're not doing that in person this year, but we are going to be hosting it through um, Teams uh, on October 30th at 8.30. There will be a form available for you to sign up for, and we will send you the link. You would have to provide your own coffee, unfortunately, <laughs> but we are going to be talking about college planning and what you should be doing with your student right now um, That's in great. order for the future. Very good. Appreciate you offering that for us. Uh, what else do you have on your list from the guidance office? Uh, one, one other thing is we are in the process of coordinating, coordinating tutoring for students um, with the National Honor Society peers. It's a peer-to-peer -peer program where our students will be tutoring your students in the morning time if they are available before school and then actually at nighttime as well, which is first for us. Um, through teams as well. So students will be able to tutor other students that way. It's great that Teams is opening up a whole new world of possibilities. Whole new world. And whole as new much world. as maybe the, it br brings frustrations or anxieties, we're also seeing how it's going to benefit and allow more opportunities. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, thank you for providing that. Yep. All right, excellent. Thank you. Okay, with that, we have a couple other announcements. Uh, I wanted to let you know that I did meet with the class of 2021 class officers excited about planning for this school year, making it the best for them, not compared to anything else, but brand new for the class of 2021. We're looking forward to that. Yearbook distribution from last year has begun, so make sure you're checking with your uh, class advisors regarding that if you ordered a yearbook that's mainly for the class of 2020. And uh, the last thing I want to end with is we launched a new initiative this week. Um, where we are doing home visits. So uh, I went and knocked on some doors. Mr. <laughs> McCullough joined me and it was a very positive experience. And we just want to uh, extend an, an additional uh, resource and way to let you know that number one, we miss you. Uh, number two, we care about you and we want to support you. So that's the goal of that home visit. So uh, if you're a fully remote student, um, look for somebody maybe knock on your door <laughs> in the coming weeks. Okay, uh, Mrs. Eberly, thank you again for thank joining us. Thank you for us. having me, yep. And with that, continue to please stay safe. And, oh, I forgot one thing. We had a great event this week, and that was the Salsa Extravaganza. It's the second year, I believe, of this, maybe even a third. Um, we combined it with Latin Heritage Month, uh, month and uh, yesterday we were able to go outside. Uh, shout out to Keith Shepard and the various departments that have joined him. You can see Mr. Riley there. <laughs> I know Mrs. Phillips with art. Um, lots of people supporting what's going on with this and, and definitely all of the PE department helping Mr. Shepard with this. Uh, very excellent opportunity for the kids to participate in. Today they are inside for yeah. the Silver Day, but the, the new gym looks great, set up equally as nice. Okay, with that, Happy Friday, and as always, good, good night. night.